Hello beautiful, welcome, welcome to today's video. I tried to live a little bit of my fantasy today with the look that I'm putting together with my clothes. Uh, I am dreaming that I am in Hawaii enjoying the beach as many of my uh, friends and people that I know that are posting everywhere <laughs> that are at the beach in Hawaii. I'm so happy for them. They can afford it. Yay. So I try to live my fantasy right here in front of you. So, um, but in today's video, we're not going to talk about Hawaii. We're going to talk about some makeup products that I had in my collection for a little bit but i have not tried them yet so these are new products but still old that they came into my collection a while back but i haven't tried them yet so i hope that makes sense so let's get in okay so this i did try so this is the super goop unseen sunscreen this is supposed to be like a, a little bit of a primer, but also helping moisturizing, but also has some SPF in it. And this one has SPF 40 and it is water and sweat resistant. Cool, amazing, great. It's not like we're going to see the sun today because it is really cloudy out. And also, I don't think I'm going to go out today, but I'm going to put a little bit on my brush right here and try to throw this on my face all over you know just imagine that we are in hawaii how is that mm? no. let's try this foundation i know there's some people that really wanted to see how this foundation performs so let's try it today let's see how it goes i might just do a wear test as well with all these products on my face and see how they go so this one it is number seven lift and luminate triple action serum foundation um this is supposed to do some help some reduce some of the wrinkles and have the skin looks firmer and the tone looks more even it's supposed to have a radiant finish medium coverage more um spf this one has 15 so and also it says it's suitable for sensitive skin so i don't know let's see i have mine in honey um so this is how the wow i, I kind of like how this looks this is glass and i do like it it's kind of heavy and nice in the hand that looks really nice i have to say i'm wondering is it gonna be great or not i'm gonna do three pumps because you know this is gonna be medium coverage so i'm gonna take a brush and try to do that mm. so far it looks good but i have to say this is all the things that i put over there is already over here so i only reached just a tiny bit of my face but it does look good okay so what i'm gonna do because this definitely it's not looking the way i want it to look with the when i take it with the brush so i'm gonna put it on my hand although i don't like to do that and then i'm gonna throw it on my face like this but i guess it's a serum foundation so you can expect it to be very lightweight actually this i don't feel anything like i don't i didn't felt anything on the skin and I don't kind of feel it now either so that's nice so the way it feels is nice I do think this color is a little bit too light all right so this is how it looks like with all those pumps on the face they say this is supposed to be medium coverage what I call this, it is light coverage. I don't think this is medium coverage. Um, it did cover a little bit this pimples right here. I have some uh, big ones that just showed up to play on my face. But yeah, and you can still see a little bit of my redness poking through. I don't know. I mean, it's cool and all, but I just, I don't know. 
Does it appear to reduce the wrinkles? I don't, I don't see that just yet. But it looks pretty smooth. Like the face looks smooth. It looks nice. It looks beautiful. It looks healthy. I just don't quite like the coverage. And uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. It doesn't feel like I have anything on the face. It's not tacky at all. Yeah. I don't know. So far, it's not convincing me, so that's all I can tell you. Now, let's go and do this powder. Should we do this powder? Let me see what else do I have in here. Yes, we'll do this powder. Um, but first of all, let me do a lip balm because let me tell you, my lips are dry. And I have this one from Huda Beauty that I recently received in a mystery box from Huda. And this one, it is in negligee. It's supposed to have some sparkly, crazy things on it. There you go. This is how it looks like. Interesting, right? Very interesting. So I'm going to add a little bit of this on my lips. Hopefully it's going to moisturize them. We need to get moisturized. Because you know, the sun in Maui is going to burn. It's going to burn our lips. Okay, so this is how the powder looks like. Absolutely beautiful. I love this packaging. It feels really luxe and expensive. But yeah, the, the powder looks really nice. Let me see. Does it have something underneath it? No, it does not. Mm, okay. So we're going to take a brush. Uh, let's do, should we do this one? Let's, yeah, let's just do this one. This one I have it in medium. And I'm gonna just take it all the way over here and just kind of see how it looks on top of each other. I think I kind of realized that this foundation was not gonna work for me properly. But, and that's why I went with this powder that is definitely darker. But it together brings the color, brings close to the color that I have on my chest. So, that's good. The powder, I have to say, I, I like the powder more. And mostly because it does feel a little bit more... Um, smoothing but also it looks like it's it's taking all those imperfections and make them disappear a little bit better you know what i mean so i like that i know you're saying why didn't you put a concealer first before you're doing this i don't know just i don't know but I'm going to go with this one. And this one is from Fenty Beauty. I have used this one a couple of times. This is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Um, and I do, I still stand by my first review. I do really do like it and I do enjoy it. It is really nice for those days where you actually don't want full coverage under the eyes. You want just something very lightweight. And I like this one, but definitely need to set it if you want to wear it. Definitely set it down with some powder. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm really excited about the new powder that we're going to try today for the under eyes. Because I had this one in my collection for a little bit. And I have not opened it yet. So I'm excited to open this one. Alright, so the powder that we're going to try today is this one from Lawless. It's called Seal the Deal. And this is supposed to be a clean product. Um, and it's called Mini Loose Setting Powder in Classic Translucent. Seal the Deal Talc Free Lightweight Soft, fo soft Focus Setting Powder Locks in Your Makeup While Absorbing Oil and Shine Throughout the Day. It is perfect for baking too. That's why we're going to use it today. This is how the component looks like. It looks really nice. Yeah, it does feel really good in the hand. Okay, I'm going to come back in five hours after I finish peeling this thing off. 
All right, exactly what I thought. It's gonna take me seven hours. It took me seven and a half. So I'm gonna put a bunch of it in here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I like, I like how it feels. It feels really nice and soft. And it does look very, it looks like it's very finely milled, which is nice. I'm going to add a lot in the inner corner because it makes my face, I mean, makes my eyes look a little bit less tired. And I look a little bit more uh, younger. But yeah, it looks really nice. I have to say, I'm a, uh, I'm a. Uh, I'm kind of impressed how it looks right now. We'll see how it's going to develop. But we're going to leave that bake over there. While we do that, let's go with the bronzer that we're going to play today. The bronzer and the lipstick. So my for my birthday, when I went to Sephora, I decided to go with this birthday kit. And this is a NARS Laguna uh, kit, which is has a... It has a bronzing powder and an afterglow lip lip balm. So let's see how they look inside. I have not opened them because you know I have so many other stuff too. I do wanted to say I did purchase finally. I did purchase. Do I have it in here? I don't even know. I don't think I have it in here. Do I? No, I think I put it back in there. But what I wanted to say, I finally purchased the Marc Jacobs um, bronzer in a mini size. And it's not as amazing as people were describing it. Just to be fair, it's not. But let's see how this is. The Lagunas. Okay, so it's a pretty small little pan in here. But that's fine. I have so many bronzers that I don't need like big pans no more. Oh, I love the color. Yeah, yeah, the color is nice. I have to be honest, I don't try a lot of NARS things. I, I don't know, it's like it's never really appealing to me. I never had that interaction with NARS and, and I don't even think I heard of NARS until I came to United States because um, it's just like it's not as popular at least not in Europe it's not so I don't know I don't know I never had such big feelings about NARS I tried a few things here and there I can't say anything truly disappointed me well a little bit the blush but I don't know it's just not my thing not my thing I guess Oh, well, I put a lot on my nose, but since we are in Hawaii, we, we're going to be bronzed, right? So why not add all the bronzers that we could, we can. Can you tell I'm salty that I can, I cannot go to Hawaii right now? Can you tell that? Yeah. All right, so I don't like the fact that I have a lot of dark things around here my mouth so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a little bit of this powder that is the one that i have still a little bit left from uh lawless beauty and i'm just gonna add it a little bit in this area because i don't like when that area is dark there we go now that's much better much better Okay, so I like the bronzer. I like how the bronzer looks like. It's pretty. I like it. It's good, 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 good. Now, let's see. Do I have any blush? I don't see any blush that I put in front of me. So I guess I don't have any necessarily new blush that I can try. So which one should I go with? Oh, yeah, let's do this one. I haven't tried this one in a while. So this is Hot Mama from The Balm. And this is how it looks inside. So let's give it a go. Oof, yeah, it's pretty. Cute. I'm 
I'm gonna quickly go off camera to do my brows because I don't have anything new for brows and then I'll come back and do some should we do some eye makeup I don't know we shall see all right so brows are done let's take this uh, thing out of my under eyes and just see what we're being left with So far it looks good. I like this uh, this little makeup today. It looks good, although I'm salty that I cannot uh, travel right now anywhere. Not necessarily because of the restrictions, because we apparently we don't have that many restrictions anymore. It's because uh, I literally cannot afford to do that. But I can afford to play with this Pat McGrath a beautiful eyeshadow palette that is called Eye Ecstasy Subversive and I showcased this one a little while uh, ago in a different video and I played with the reds but today we're gonna play with the with the with this and the purple so let's do that I'm hoping Pat McGrath is gonna fix my problems and it's going to make me feel really happy. So I'm going to take the purple little one. Because this purple is actually pretty. So pretty. And I'm going to add this one. I think I'm going to add it almost all over my lid. Or maybe maybe I'm just going to do it right in the center. And then I'm going to go with gold in the front. And then in here too. I don't know. I'm going with something different today. I don't want to go with what I usually would go with. I just want to do something completely different. And that's what I'm going to do. Super beautiful. Look at that. Look at that purple. Huh? Gorgeous. Fat McGrath. Can I be on your, on your PR list? That would be amazing. But I don't think she will ever find out who the hell I am. <sighs> but you know, one can dream. Uh, so let's go with the gold. We'll go with the gold and just put this one right in here. In the front and then in the back. Talking about Pat McGrath, I actually did purchase her new uh, blush and I'm just waiting it to be delivered. So I'm so freaking excited about that i cannot wait to come this makeup look actually looks better than what i thought is going to look like well yeah that is cute i like it different right it is really different I like that, like that a lot. I'm gonna take the the purple and just kinda dot it right here in the center of the bottom lash. And then take the the other brush that I use for that gold and do the same thing I did on the top on the bottom as well all right that is cute i like it i like it it's fun now let's do a little bit of highlighter so for a highlighter i'm gonna go with this beauty bakery milk and honey palette had it in my collection for a while and i did not play with it that much and i think i'm just gonna go with this one with the be sweet because it looks really nice right Let's do that one. I tried it before and I did I do like it. I like how it looks on me. That, that looks really cute. And now for lipstick, I'm also gonna add mascara. But for lipstick, I definitely want to try this tart thing. I had this for a very long time and I have not opened it. This is the Lip Sculptor Lipstick and Lip Gloss. And it's in VIP. Yes! 
VIP, like if I would have been to a club somewhere in uh, Hawaii, yeah, it would be VIP, right? One can always dream. So you have the lip gloss over here, then you have the lipstick over here. So the color looks really nice, but I also have a lip liner. Ah! One thing's to fall off. I have a lip liner that again, I had it for a very long time and I did not open it or play with it because it's very hard to open for some stupid reason. And um, I'm gonna take this, hopefully I'm gonna be able to take it off without cutting a limb or anything like that. But this is Maybelline New York Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in 153 Divine Wine. So let me go and open this and I'll be back. Okay, so I did apply a little bit of mascara while I was off camera. And this is Makeup Geek Extension Effect Mascara. And you who we still have all my fingers. That was an experience in itself. So let's try this little lip liner and see this is retractable i like the color i remember when i purchased this a year and a half ago yes it's been that long <laughs> so i'm gonna see how oh that is nice and creamy i'm gonna put it on top of this huda beauty lip balm which the lip balm really feels good on the lips and it's really hydrating i don't like the color but the lip balm, it is nice and hydrating. I like it. It looks nice. It feels good. It is nice. So I like that one. Now let's try the lipstick. I'm going to go with the bullet lipstick first. Like I said, this is in VIP. Mm, well, that's a lip combination that I, I don't usually go for. But you know, you live, you learn, you live, you experience some new things and you try new things and that's the beauty of life, hopefully. So that's how it looks. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to go with the lip gloss too. And make it all crazy. The lip gloss I actually like. It is nice. Mm, that looks good. That looks pretty. I like that. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I'm going to take a little bit of that blush and just add a little bit more over here. Wait, which blush have I used? The Hot Mama. <laughs> um, I'm like a hot mess. Not a hot mama. So I'm going to add it a little bit up here because I like how that makes it look a little bit more integrated with the look. And that's what I'm going to do on this side too. What do you think? Do you like it? I really do like it. This is my Hawaiian fantasy makeup look. Like, because I am a little bit annoyed with the fact that I cannot go and travel. Ugh. But this is how I look like. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I have to say, the foundation with the powder on top looks so much better. So much better. I like the bronzer. I like the lip liner. I like everything. I have to say, I don't. it's not that I have any... I didn't like anything. Uh, I love everything. Everything I put on my face. Everything, it looks really beautiful. It looks gorgeous. So I might just come back uh, for a few seconds at the end of the day. Just kind of show you how everything looks like. As I came back to show you a little bit how it looks like. I had this makeup on for nine hours. And this is how it looks right now. I love how the blush is still looking like. The foundation still looks nice and the powder, I look a little bit oily, but that is something that always happens. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like the foundation and the powder together. It didn't change much throughout the day. I did put, I did touch my face a lot and it didn't happen anything. 
But one thing that I am kind of impressed is the powder for the under eye, the lawless one, because he set my under eyes and it didn't let let it um, settle into my lines too much. I mean, this is impressive. Usually it's way worse when I um, use uh, a different powder. But yeah, this is how it looks right now. And there you have it. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you all next time with another video. Bye now.